Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I'm Darshan Hussein Usman. The News in Brief. President-elect Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu has sent out a message of sympathy and consolation to traders affected by the recent fire outbreaks in Kano State. In a statement released by his media office on Tuesday, signed by Abilaziz Abilaziz, Ashiwaju Tinubu bemoaned the inferno which affected a section of Singa commodity markets in the city on Monday, a few days after similar accidents in two other markets. Some bandits have demanded a fresh 2 million ran narrow ransom and two motorcycles to release a woman and her daughter abducted from Jenzala community in Kagarko local government area of Kaduna State. Daily Trust had reported that the bandits on February 5th, 2023, invaded the victim's residence and whisked away the woman, Shamsia, her husband, Mustafa, and their 16-year-old daughter at gunpoint. Six accused armed robbers from Zimbabwe managed to flee from custody while on transit after a shootout broke out between them and South African police. The six inmates got out during the gunfight, according to a statement from South African police, who said they have started a manhunt for the heavily armed suspects. And finally, Wales boss Rob Page has selected four uncapped players in his squad for the upcoming Euro 2024 qualifiers. Jordan James, Nathan Broadhead and Oli Cooper could all win first caps as could 17-year-old forward Luke Harris. And that's it on Trust News Summary. Don't forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. I'm Darshan Hussein Usman. Thanks for watching.